Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darsh Sloan, your official content creator for Expansive Worlds, and I'm out here today just doing a little fishing for some bullhead catfish, but that is not the purpose of this video. This video, guys, is to show you how to catch a diamond bream. That is one of the fish that has been eluding a lot of people, and I'm going to show you how I caught mine jigging with a number six tube. Now, a lot of people say, why weren't you using a number five tube? Because I was also fishing for European perch. Uh, and if you use a number six, they will bite. The gold perch will also bite on a number six tube uh, as well. So I like to drop down to a number six and use that for the bream. And there's been a little something going on lately that I've we've all kind of not been able to put our finger on. It seems like since the last update that when you catch a diamond, diamonds spawn back off from the diamonds being caught. So it's very hit or miss. You're either catching multiple diamonds or none is the way that it seems to be going right now. And um, might want to pay attention to what happens in this video because I followed the advice of uh, dad's a psycho and he said if you catch one you might want to go after another one and we did and uh yeah i'll just i'll just put that footage in and let you guys watch it but let's look at the bream a little bit this is probably where i'll get a bite but let's go look at the bream you can see here my diamond was 15.16 one of them was 15.16 uh, before we go any further, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. Our channel has been growing lately, and it's all because of you guys. And spread that word out there. Word of mouth goes a long way. I have a lot of guides out there to help you. And as you can see, these are the only two diamonds that I do not have in the game. And I've not fished for them too much. The bullhead and the burbot. I'm starting to tackle them now. I feel like I'm getting really close on the bullhead catfish so we will see but those two are nighttime and that's what makes it tough finding a nighttime server and all that but anyway let's look at the bream a little bit deeper you can see their top three is blood worm dog biscuits imitation biscuits but i caught mine on a tube let's look at that you've got red worm boilies natural Pellets, regular, pearl barley, eggs, bread, dough, hot dog, liver, minnow, artificial corn, yellow, corn, wafters, white, spoon, grub, spinner, shad, tube, and worm. I used to think that the top three were the, what it was going to come after the most, but I have a lot of people telling me that tube is their go-to for these bream. And shout out to ProXCK for showing us this juicy spot right here. As you can see, just north of the villa. Actually, this whole, I think you can catch a diamond ream along this whole coast. There's several spots along this coast here, this bank. But ProXCK put us on this spot here in one of his videos and it did not disappoint. That is where I went in this video. What I'm going to do now at this point, guys, is I'm going to drop that footage in and uncut because it all happened so quick. I'm just going to drop it in and let you guys see there's no edits how long in between it took. You'll be quite shocked. So hang in there. That bream's coming or maybe multiple bream are coming. But six tube, guys. I'm going to drop that video in right now. Well, Amy has guaranteed that I will catch a diamond bream. I should have put the wig on last night. Sweet. Hey, this is something. Oh, 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 that is something. Oh, I will take that. Oh, 
I was dreading this grind. Ooh. We got her done. The diamond bream. What am I doing right now? Oh. The diamond bream. Well, I mean, it's not been too bad, actually. No. And you say I should try catch me another one? Well, I could tell that that was a different shape of fish. I just couldn't tell what it was. So I was like, that's not a perch, you know? And it wasn't an asp. I knew it was something different. It's the mask, it's scaring the fish. That one was just brave. <laughs> Flat cap, how's it going, but Yeah, we just got our diamond bream, finally. So now it's bullhead, catfish, and burbot. Oh, boy. You know, I could put liver on and go target both of them at the same time. Is there a place that you can catch them both? And I could just put a liver on and go for both at the same time, I wonder. Just catch a goat roach. Nice. Well, I'm very fortunate. Apparently, that's some people have hated the bream grind. You know what's funny? That was the first bream I caught here. I was catching like everything else, you know. Uh, uh, another one. This kind of confirms my theory, too, that I was talking about earlier about how once you catch one diamond, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Let's do it. Let's just sit here and keep catching diamond breams. All right, guys, that is going to do it. As you saw there, two diamond bream back to back. I cast one time after I caught the first one, reeled it all the way in with no bites, and then the very next cast, we caught a diamond bream. And that is one of the ones that has tortured some really good anglers out there that I know of. And so I was fortunate and I had Dad the psycho saying, cast back out there, try to catch you another one. So we did. And we caught another one, back to back. Even bigger, the 15 pounder was the second one that I caught. So just remember guys, right here, Go north of the villa, anywhere through there you can catch them actually, but I just followed Pro XCK's advice, went there and we caught two diamond breams. So all I know is what I know. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys. Six tube, right there, speed of one, constant reel. Just hold the space bar or I don't know what, whatever jigging is, whatever platform you're playing on. Speed of one and it just, just constant reel. And that's how I did it. I caught two of them. So that's what I highly recommend that you do. That's the spot. And the temperatures, if you're a temperature chaser as well, somewhere between 56 and 57 degrees, somewhere in that neighborhood. Maybe a little more, a little less, but that's if you get, that gets you close. I've not had a lot of bream reported to me. So somewhere in that general vicinity. 
Anyway, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Let me know in the comments what video you'd like to see next. And I will try to get that out there as I am taking some ideas right now in between content. But we do have a new map coming soon and a lot of people think that it's Congo. So we will see as the makings of this video has not been released yet. As today is, I think, March the 10th. So be keeping your eyes peeled for that information. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think, what you need, what you like. We appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next video.